Hey, how you doing? It's quite here. In this video, we're going to be using a formula called return on investment and how you can use this to determine the most profitable investment when you're going about selecting them. So let's go. All right. So what is a return on investment? A return on investment is essentially just a percentage on finding out whether the money that you've put in is given a certain amount of return. So for example, let's say I put down a thousand dollars into a stock and it goes up and that stock goes up and it goes up to about two thousand dollars. That means I've made double my return on investment, which is 200 percent. So the formula goes like this. So it's ROI which is return on investment, which is equal to your profit. Okay. Divide that by investment times by 100. Okay. So it's profit divided by investment times by 100. It's very easy formula. So let's have a look at it. So let's say we've got um, stock, stock A, and then we've got stock B. All right. So I'm going to switch up some colors. So let's say that um, stock A, we've invested, invested, invest, and profit. So we've got two columns here for both of them. So uh, stock A, we've invested $1,000. Okay. And the profit on this one was actually 1500 Okay. And so for stock B, we've invested $1,000. Make clean and simple. And then the profit obviously is probably gone up, right? So this one, I'm just making it very simple. So just by looking at it, you're probably thinking, oh, I already know stock B, but let's just look at the numbers first, right? And let's just figure it out. So uh, the profit, which is 1,000, oh, 1,500, that's your profit there. Divide that by how much did you invest? 1,000 times by 100. And let's just fill in the gaps for this one as well. So the profit was 1,700 for this particular share divided by the amount of money that I invested, which was 1,000 times by 100. So let's figure it out. Let's have a look at what the returns are. So uh, I'm just going to load up my trusted calculator once again. All right. So uh, let's look at stock A. So 1,500, which is my profit divide that by how much did I put in, which was 1,000, 1 1.5 times by 100. So it's 150, meaning, hang on. So it's 1,500, okay, divide that by 1,000. Oops, <laughs> 1,500, okay, divide that by 1,000, okay, is equal to 1.5, so 100. So essentially this particular stock, I've made a 150% return on investment. That's, that's pretty good. You know, a 150% return means I put down $1,000, I got 1,500. So I get a 150% return. So let's have a look at this one. So you can probably figure it out um, already. It's 1,700, but let's just do the numbers anyway. Divide that by 1,000. Okay, one by 100. So 170%, okay, 170%. So the return on investment ROI for this particular stock is 150% and stock B, we did the calculations and we figured out that it's 170%. So by looking at which stock is, is more profitable, obviously you're going to pick 170% for stock B because this one returns more. So, so that's all it is um, in calculating return on investment. You want to look at different types of stocks or even real estate or whatever investment that you've got. Figure out how much money you are putting down and how much profit does this business stock or real estate make at the end of the year. And then just do the calculations and you figure out what's your return on investment. So if you're looking at multiple investments, A, B, C, D, and you figure out and you look at the return on all of these, right? So let's say that A returns you uh, 200% return on investment. This one returns 150%. This one returns 300%. And this one returns 1000%. Okay, so by looking at the list, you've cracked the numbers and you're thinking, okay, well, these one, this one's 200, this one's 50, one's 300, this one's 1,000. 
Wow, so this one's really interesting. Yes, you might get a good return on investment. What if it requires a lot more risk, such as putting in down more money and so forth? So it's just a tool in which helps you to determine um, the best investment. You know, I, personally, I wouldn't, uh, I mean, I'm not giving financial advice, but I mean, I wouldn't just use return on investment alone to determine I'm going to put money into this stock. There's other things you want to factor in, such as the risk, time, you know, is it going to affect your, your life or whatever it is, all those type of things that you need to figure out on your own. But um, but this is just a good indication. You might not opt for the 1000% return on investment because it's taking up too much time. But this one, 200% fits your lifestyle. It's a good return. I put down. I can put down this money. I'm going to get double in 12 months as opposed to that in, you know, in 13 years, whatever it is. So therefore, I'm going to go with option A. So as you're thinking like an investor, you want to always figure out your return on investment on a particular opportunity and then crack the numbers and then from that point make your decision. So I hope that helps you in learning how to calculate the return on investment. It's a really good powerful formula that everyone uses to determine a good return on the investment. So uh, let me know how you guys go in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.